Welcome to FM Education Academy YouTube channel. In today's video lecture, we will be discussing exercise 1.3, question number 4, third bit and fourth bit. That is, when we have to convert this rational, this decimal form into P by Q form, that is rational form. In the last video lecture, we had solved all the questions of exercise 1.3 till second bit. If you have not watched that video and if you have any doubts in that, please go and watch it. It is provided in the description below. And you can also check it in the playlist of real numbers. So let's start. Here we have, first let us understand the question carefully. It is telling express the following decimals in the form of p by q and write the prime factors of q what do you observe so for, uh, first we have to express this decimal form into fractional form so what is the uh, bit given to us third bit 43.12 bar remember this bar was given to you in 8th class and 9th class also so same concept we have to do so first we'll assume let x is equals to 43.12 bar what does 43.12 bar means 43.12 bar means that it is equal to 43.121212 and so on bar means that two digits are repeating that is why 1 2 bar i have written as 1 2 1 2 1 2 and so on I will assume this as equation 1. Now here what is the periodicity? The periodicity is 2. Periodicity means how many digits are uh, there which are repeating. Means how many digits bar is there. This is called as bar. So here we see that on these two digits bar is there. It means the periodicity is how much? 2. If periodicity is 2 then you have to multiply this number with 100. If periodicity is 1 multiply it with 10. If periodicity is 1000 and periodicity is 3 multiplied with 1000. So it depends on the number of digits, how many zeros you have to multiply. Since here, two digits bar is there, that is periodicity is 2, we are going to multiply equation 1 with 100. So multiply equation 1 with 100. So this becomes 100 into x is equals to 100 into 43.12. 1, 2, 1, 2 and so on. What is 100 into x? 100 into x will be 100x and how to multiply this 100 with 43.121212? Remember when in case of multiplication always shift the decimal point by right side. In case of division shift it by left side. In case of multiplication shift it by right side. So here two zeros are there shifted by right side 1, 2. So what it will become? 4, 3, 1, 2, point, 1, 2, 1, 2 and so on. We have shifted the decimal point by two places on right side since there were two zeros. Now this is my equation 2. So what is the next step? Remember we have to subtract equation 2 minus equation 1. Okay, the regular procedure which we did in class 9th and 8th, that only we are following. So, 100x is equals to 4312.1212 and so on. Then write the first equation below it. The first equation is x is equals to, remember here the students often do mistakes. That is, be below the decimal point, you should have point. So, where should I write this 43.1212 here? Okay. Students write here somewhere. So the subtraction will be wrong. Always remember you have to put point below point. So this becomes 43.1212 and so on. Now you have to subtract, right? Minus. So if no number is there before x, it means the number is 1. So here what is it? 100x minus 1x means 100 minus 1. What is 100 minus 1? 100 minus 1 is 9 and x is as it is, is equals to 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. We have points, support point. 2 minus 3 will not go. So this will become 0, this will become 12, 12 minus 3 is 9, this will become 2, this will become 10, 10 minus 4 is 6, uh, this will become 4. Uh, am I doing any mistake? One second. Uh, 12 minus 3 is 9, 10 minus 4 is 6. No, this is 4, 2, 6, 9. That's correct only. So now, 
x will be equal to 4, 2, 6, 9. Point zero, 0, means we know that after point 0 has no value. So, 4, 2, 6, 9, point zero, 0 is nothing but 4, 2, 6, 9 only. Now, into 9, if it goes that side, becomes divided by. Now, these both will go in 3 table. 3, 1s are 3. 1, 2, 3, 4s are 12. 3, 2s are 6. 3, 3s are 9. 3, 3s are 9. Again, it will go in 3 table. Will it go or not? 3, 4s are 12. 1, 2, 3, 4s are 12. Yes, 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 12, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2, 22. So it becomes 3 7s are 21. No, it will not go. So what will I write here? It is 1, 4, 2, 3 by 3 only. 1, 4, 2, 3 by 3 only. Yeah, because you will get 13 here. You cannot divide 1, 4, 2, 3 by 3. Okay, so this is my x. So I have successfully proven decimal form or I have successfully converted this decimal form which was non-terminating repeating into a rational form okay but it also said me it also asked me write the prime factors of q so what are the prime factors of q prime factors of q are q means it is denominator here the prime factor of q is only 3 and 1 right so prime factors of q are only 3 and 1 and what else I observe? I observe that the denominators do not have 2 and 5 as the factors. So, 2 and 5 are not the prime factors of 3. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, so we can write this, the following number is a rational number and prime factors of q are 3 and 1 and 2 and 5 are not the prime factors of 3. Okay, that is my answer, number third bit. If you have found this video helpful, then like this video, share this video with your friends and please subscribe to this channel because we upload videos daily for you all. Thank you very much. Stay blessed. Have a nice day.